We do have some promising news, though. The search for a COVID vaccine is expanding here in Colorado. Yeah, we've reported on the work being done at UC Health in Aurora and a separate group in Colorado Springs. Now, 1,500 Coloradans will take part in an entirely different trial in Loveland. Only on CBS4 tonight, Dylan Thomas reports on this vaccine and the works. And Dylan, you spoke exclusively with the first person in this trial. Yeah, Karen, her name is Carrie Hinsman. She works at a local high school and she has family that works in law enforcement. That makes her the ideal candidate for this phase three COVID vaccine trial as researchers here with UC Health are searching out and trying to recruit people who are essential workers. No, I was the first one. Inside a makeshift medical facility. It may be not for everyone, but for me, it was a no-brainer. Carrie Hinsman became the first person in Colorado to participate in the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine trial. I had blood drawn, and then I got the vaccine. Or so she thinks. UC Health was selected to oversee this phase three trial out of northern Colorado, where two-thirds of the 1,500 participants will be given the vaccine. The other third will be given a placebo. So it's pretty imperative that we find a way to stop this from progressing. UC Health Director of Medical Research Gary Luckison says the vaccine, which was developed and first tested in Europe, has so far been successful. No significant abnormalities from the vaccine have been identified. The vaccine is an adenovirus, meaning a protein from SARS-CoV-2 is added to a cold virus and injected into the human body. It's very innovative and a very new approach for uh, how we treat these viruses. There is a small uh, risk from the vaccine, but it is trivial compared to the extent that the virus affects us. With an 84-year-old mom and a sister in assisted living, Hintzman said doing her part to propel a vaccine was an easy choice. I want things to go back to normal. I'm tired of people dying. Let's do this, let's get this under control. Maybe it'd help the whole world. Now, UC Health is really hoping to recruit also some members of the strong Latino population here in northern Colorado, as Latinos have been higher susceptibility and vulnerability to COVID-19 thus far. Dr. Luckison says that this trial is low risk for participants with a high reward for the rest of us. And he says if successful, this vaccine could be made available as soon as January 1st. Reporting live in Loveland tonight, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right.